Fungi are the most alien-looking life forms the planet Earth has to offer. There are endless different types of fungus. Some of them look unsettling, to say the least. Let's take a look at the top 15 most weird types of fungi. Number 15. Bleeding Tooth Fungus Hydnellum pecky The bizarre-looking bleeding tooth fungus is a non-toxic species that can be found across North America, Europe, Korea, and Fraser Island and Australia. They usually grow on the ground next to carnivorous trees, where they connect with the root system underground and provide the host with minerals and amino acids in exchange for carbon compounds. While their fruits on the surface are usually pale pink in color, they can release a deep crimson red colored sap when they're moist that looks just like blood and is one of the most surprising things you'll ever see in the undergrowth. Each fungus can grow to just over four inches high and have teeth on the underside of their cap that produce and release the spores. As they grow older, however, they lose their striking appearance and instead take on a grayish brown color that looks more like a standard variety of mushroom. Another name for this strange fungus is strawberries and cream, but even though they may look to some to be appetizing, there's a good reason why these aren't regularly served in dishes. Even though they aren't toxic, they have an extremely bitter taste that remains after they've been dried. Collectors, therefore, keep them in their displays purely because of their unusual appearance. Number 14. Cedar Apple Rust Gymnosporangium juniperi virginiani. For all the farmers in the U.S. who grow orchards full of apples that are also near to eastern red cedar trees, there's one sight they dread seeing, the emergence of cedar apple rust. It's a disease on trees that can result in the loss of all the fruit, and it's caused by a particularly unusual fungus called gymnosporangium. When it grows on the cedar trees, the fungus develops reddish-brown galls that are up to an inch across, and during spring they grow long, gelatinous horns that release the spores a few weeks later. Not only does the fungus look strange, it also has an extremely complex life cycle. It can't survive just on cedar trees, and requires the presence of apple trees, too. The wind carries the spores to apple trees within a two-mile radius when they are in blossom, and the spores attach themselves to the leaves, begin to germinate, and can infect the tree within a matter of hours. Yellow lesions begin to develop within a few weeks, and once this happens, there's very little that can be done to save the tree's harvest. Later in the year, spores develop on the leaves, and these are blown to the nearby cedars where the fungus develops the galls once more, and the process starts again. Pesticides are not very effective against the disease, and the only permanent solution for apple growers is the complete removal of all cedar trees within a couple of miles of their orchards. Number 13. Devil's Fingers – Clathrus acheri as soon as you see devil's fingers, especially if you watch videos of them as they grow, it becomes immediately clear why they have such an ominous name. Also known as octopus fingers, this is actually a fungus called Clathrus archeri, which is found in regions across the globe. It begins life with a small white egg that's no more than about one and a half inches across, and when this ruptures, the fruit body begins to emerge. This is usually made up of four to six red arms that are covered in a foul-smelling substance, and they begin by reaching out vertically until they've grown to around four inches long at which point they spread open. The finished fruit is about eight inches across, and at the center is the gleba, which contains the spores. Once it's matured, the smell it releases is just like that of rotting meat, and this attracts a wide range of different insects that are then used to transport the spores elsewhere so the life cycle can begin once more. Even though the devil's fingers aren't toxic to humans, the disgusting odor is normally more than enough to prevent anyone from getting too close. It certainly isn't an appealing thing to even consider eating. Number 12. Orange Pore Fungus Favolachia callosera Orange pore fungus was first discovered in Madagascar, but since then it's also been seen across the world in countries like New Zealand, Italy, Australia, Hawaii, China, Thailand, and Kenya. It's not certain, therefore, where it originated, but this could prove to be one of the most invasive species on Earth, with only a single spore being enough for it to take hold and thrive in a new environment. The cap grows to, at most, just over an inch across, and is completely smooth when it's young, with a kidney-like shape. As it ages, the fungus develops a series of pores that are fractions of an inch across, and it's from these that the spores are released. They only grow on wood, and are easily identifiable by their bright orange coloration, which varies in its vividness depending on the types of tree that they're growing on. They are most commonly seen in areas of human activity, which suggests that we are the most effective means that this species of fungus uses to spread its spores and there's concern that their spread will displace other fungi species that would usually grow in these regions. Number 11. Dung Cannon – Pilobolus crystallinus Fungi can grow pretty much anywhere, but there's one that's possibly got the rawest deal of them all, the Pilobolus crystallinus. Also known as the Dung Cannon, this species only grows when it's surrounded by animal feces. This has led it to developing a rather surprising attribute. 
it's able to fire its spores with the fastest acceleration in the natural world. Growing to just 1.6 inches tall, dung cannon fungi often live in large colonies on mounds of dung, but initially grow beneath the surface because oxygen inhibits their growth. Eventually, they'll emerge above the top layer, though, and the structure they form is designed to propel their spores as far as possible. The most important part is the sporangium, which is the black dot at the tip of the fluid-filled vesicle that's surrounded by crystals to hold it in place until the opportune moment. When ready, the vesicle bursts and the sporangium is released with an acceleration of 20,000 g, meaning that it reaches 45 miles per hour in a millisecond. It happens so fast that it's impossible to see with the human eye, and it's difficult to record, even in slow motion. The idea for this is that it will land on vegetation, which will subsequently be eaten by an animal so the spores can begin growing in its digestive tract, and it's a surprisingly effective means of transmission. Number 10. The Brain Mushroom – Gyromitra esculenta If you saw a Gyromitra esculenta growing in the wild, you'd be forgiven for thinking at first that what you were looking at was a small piece of brain material, but it is in fact an unusual species of fungus that's native to Europe and North America. Also known as the brain mushroom, its fruiting body can grow up to 4 inches tall and 6 inches wide and sits atop a 2 inch tall stem, which is called a stipe. Normally found in coniferous forests and woodlands, they become more wrinkled as they age, and once they mature, they release a sweet, fruity aroma. Surprisingly, despite its appearance, this mushroom is a popular delicacy in some parts of northern and eastern Europe, as well as around the Great Lakes in America. This doesn't come without risk, though, because they produce high levels of gyromitrin, which, when consumed, turns into a toxic compound called MMH, which is sometimes used in rocket fuel. Ingestion of this substance can affect the liver and the central nervous system and can lead to a severe coma or even death within a few days, meaning it's vital to prepare it properly if you ever want to try it for yourself. Number 9. Blue Milk Mushroom – Lactarius Indigo also known as the indigo milk cap, the blue milk mushroom is a species of fungus that can be found across North and Central America and East Asia. They develop a symbiotic relationship with the host tree species, so they only grow in deciduous or carnivorous forests, and first begin life as a mass branch like mycelium beneath the ground. Once the surrounding temperature and humidity conditions are right, and there are enough available nutrients, their incredible fruit bodies begin to develop above the ground. Their caps can grow up to six inches across and take on a dark blue color when they first form, which lightens with age. Strangely, when the tissues of the mushroom are damaged in any way, blue milk begins to ooze out, which slowly turns green once it's been exposed to air. Young specimens are sticky to the touch, but eventually dry out as they grow older. They don't have a noticeable odor around them, but in some countries such as China and Mexico, they're a popular delicacy. Said to have a peppery flavor and a grainy texture, the mushroom loses its blue coloration when it's cooked and instead turns brown. The milk that this species produces is also sought after and is often used as an ingredient of marinades because of the color it adds. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Black Witch's Butter – Excitia glandulosa Black Witch's Butter is a species of fungus that's endemic to regions across Europe where it grows mainly on dead oak branches and uses the wood as its main source of nutrition. It's possible that it grows elsewhere too, but there's another closely related species that looks virtually identical to it, so researchers aren't yet sure about its full geographical spread. The unusual looking fruit bodies can become up to 1.2 inches across, but this species usually grows in large clumps to the point where individual growths are indistinguishable from one another. From the way it looks when it's spread out across a log, it's clear to see why it's called Black Witch's Butter. It takes on a shiny, deep black coloration and appears as if it's simply been smeared out over the wood. You might think that the way it looks is misleading, but as a type of jelly fungus, it's squishy and sticky that will eventually regain its original shape if you poke or bend it. When they first form, they're firm, but as they grow older, they become softer and their shape begins to distort. The upper surface is where the spores are developed and released from, which is why it's covered in small dot-like structures, and the undersurface is covered in gelatinous spines that help it stay in place on the wood. Historically, it was believed that any logs where this fungus grew had previously been touched by witches, so people would keep their distance from it. But more recently, without the threat of superstition, some communities have begun to use it in their cuisine, where it's said to add a strange texture and aroma. Number 7. The Wrinkled Peach Rhododus palmatus. 
Rhodotus palmatus, which is more usually known as the wrinkled peach, is an uncommon species of fungus that's native to North America, North Africa, Europe, and Asia. In recent decades, far fewer specimens have been recorded, which means that it's included on a number of endangered species red lists. It's a wood decomposing fungus and is usually found growing on logs or rotting stumps of hardwood trees. They are easily identifiable from their pink color and the ridge structures that grow on the surface and can grow to around two and a half inches across. It's unusual to find just one specimen as they tend to develop in clusters or near each other. And once they fully mature, they're able to release large bursts of spores that can soon take over an area if the conditions are right. It's thought that air pollution and habitat destruction are the main two reasons why Rhodotus palmatus are dropping in numbers, but there's still a lot that's not fully understood about this particular species. Scientists, for example, have been unable to agree on how it should be classified because of its strange formation, and currently, the Rhodotus palmatus is actually the only known species within the Rhodotus genus. It's not entirely clear if it truly is a fungus unlike any other, or whether it's closely related to others that look surprisingly different, but for the moment the priority is focused on conservation. There are differing opinions on whether this species tastes nice or not, but now in a number of countries there are strict penalties if you're caught picking them in the wild, so the chances of being offered one in a dish are extremely remote. Number 6. Bearded Tooth Mushroom – Heracium aranaceus the bearded tooth mushroom, which is also known as the lion's mane mushroom or the monkey head mushroom, is a species that's native to North America, Europe, and Asia, and can be easily recognized by its unusual appearance that sees it develop a series of long spines. They tend to grow during the late summer and will form as a dense clump of spines on living hardwoods. The fruit develops between August and December, and is surprisingly good at withstanding cold conditions. The spores continue to be produced throughout the winter, and they settle by the spring of the following year so the life cycle can begin again. The species develops a symbiotic relationship with the trees that they grow on and penetrate through the bark where they exchange nutrients with their host. Yellowy-white in color and almost looking like a fake beard, the species is highly sought after because of the chemical compounds that they produce. The mixture of polysaccharides and diterpenoids are the subject of medicinal research and are often eaten by people looking for improvements to their central nervous system. While their efficacy for such treatments is yet to be proven, there's definitely hope that some of the substances they contain could be synthesized and used to treat certain nerve-related conditions. Number 5. Shoestring Fungus – Armillaria ostoyae The shoestring fungus is a commonly found species in the western U.S., where it grows in hardwood and conifer forests. The brown growths are actually seen as a pathogen by forest managers, because once they infect a tree, it's impossible to remove all traces of them and they are able to spread incredibly quickly. Their black root-like structures, which are known as mycelium, grow beneath the tree's bark and look like shoestrings. From there, they can grow underground and reach new trees, which results in the formation of huge networks of fungi that, in a biological sense, are regarded as one giant organism. In fact, one shoestring fungus, which was found growing in the Oregon Malheur National Forest, is believed to be the largest living organism on Earth in terms of amounts of space it covers and its overall mass. Known as the humongous fungus, it reaches over an area of at least 3.7 square miles and is estimated to weigh in excess of 35,000 tons. For most of the time, it's impossible to see it because the vast majority of it lies underground. But during the fall, the honey mushroom fruit develop overground, and it's then that you get a sense of how prevalent the network truly is. When shoestring fungus infects younger trees, they are often unable to survive the nutrient drain that's inflicted upon them, and they die. Trees more than 20 years old tend to survive, though, but it's impossible to remove the fungus once it's taken hold. Even if the tree is cut down and covered in herbicides, the traces of the fungus can still be found, so the only option is to surround infected regions with new trees that are resistant to it, such as the western red cedar, in an attempt to hinder its spread. Number 4. The Black Moral – Morcella elata This strange-looking fungus is called a black moral, and it's one of the most popular edible varieties on Earth. There are more than 80 different species of morals, many of which are called black morals because of their coloration, and it's very difficult to tell them apart unless you're an expert in the field. They can grow in a variety of different shapes and sizes, but their fruit body will usually grow to become several inches tall and will be covered in web-like ridges that are much darker than their inner fruit. They can be found in the wild and forest regions around the world where they grow on the root systems of trees. And because they're so highly valued for culinary reasons, the harvesting them in regions across India, Pakistan, China, and the U.S. is a multi-million dollar industry. They are notoriously difficult to cultivate, so the only way to gather them is by trekking through the forest to search for them. 
and as a result, they command a huge price by the time they make it to the dinner plate. Despite their popularity, caution must be taken with them because of the toxins that they produce. It's thought that most of these are denatured when they're cooked, but there's some evidence to suggest that even once they've been properly prepared, they can interact with alcohol to increase its effects or can cause an upset stomach. Morals must not be eaten raw because this can lead to serious gastrointestinal problems. Number 3. Rishi Mushrooms – Ganoderma lucidum Native to regions across Europe and China, Rishi mushrooms almost look like they are sea creatures, but they are instead a relatively rare form of fungi. They grow at the base of deciduous trees, particularly maples, but are surprisingly hard to come by, only being found on or around one of every 10,000 potential trees that could grow on. The cap of the fruit is flat and kidney-shaped, is cream and red in color, and instead of having gills on its underside to release spores through, it instead has white or brown pores that do the same job. Rishi mushrooms have been part of Chinese medicine for more than 2,000 years, where they're called the mushroom of immortality. They contain a number of compounds such as triterpenoids, polysaccharides, and peptidoglycans, and these are linked with medicinal benefits that help strengthen the immune system and combat fatigue and depression, but their true advantages are yet to be scientifically proven. Still, this lack of evidence doesn't prevent countless people from drinking them with hot water or using a powdered version in food, which means reishi mushrooms are often cultivated in dedicated forests on hardwood logs and wood chips. Number 2. Anemone Stinkhorn – Azero rubra The anemone stinkhorn is a species of fungus that's native to Australia and New Zealand and several islands throughout the Pacific Ocean. It's an unusual variety that grows in grassy areas and can be easily recognized not just because of the way it looks, but also because of the way it smells. They begin life as a white egg-shaped structure that's about an inch across, and when conditions surrounding it are just right, it opens up and a white stalk with up to 10 red arms grows to around 4 inches tall. The arms then spread out into a star shape, each of which extends around 1.5 inches from the center and reveal the internal mound that's covered in a dark brown slime that smells of rotting meat. It's here that the spores are produced, and the smell attracts flies which then ingest and deposit the spores elsewhere. The presence of this fungus on remote islands and in recent times elsewhere in the world is interesting to botanists who don't fully understand its means of spreading. It was at first thought it reached Europe and America after soil samples were taken from Australia that contained the spores, but this doesn't explain how it arrived elsewhere too. It's now believed that anemone stinkhorns have the ability to launch their spores into the air where they get lifted up into the fast-moving jet streams that transport them across the world, which means it's possible you could find one growing just about anywhere. Number 1. Amethyst Deceiver – Lacaria amethystina The amethyst deceiver is a stunningly purple species of fungus that can be found growing in forests across Europe, Asia, and the Americas. When they're young, they develop a vivid color, but as they age, this fades away and they turn brown, which makes them more difficult to identify and is why they're called deceivers. Their caps typically grow to be around 2 inches in diameter and have a central depression above it where it's attached to the stem. The gills form on the underside and are covered with white spores that detach in the wind, and the stems, which are up to 3 inches long, are the exact same color as the caps. The flesh of the mushroom hasn't gotten any noticeable smell or flavor, which means it isn't particularly sought after for culinary purposes. But this is fortunate, because the mushrooms tend to absorb any chemicals from the soil they're growing in, including arsenic and ammonia. As a decorative species, however, they're extremely popular because of their shape and color and are highly sought after by collectors. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.